Good segment. We're going to move on to, uh, what do you want to do, trades? Sure. I don't even remember any of them. We're going to go, oh, you fucking closed out, you fuck. Me? So, yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, Fantasy I know. football. I know. I know the trades. I should stop and start over when I'm not gonna. League Here's transactions. the deal with the trades. I don't think there's enough trades. I mean, we're getting offers. Yeah, but there's enough it's to t- talk about. They're just not. I don't know. So I want blockbusters. We talked about Derek. We talked about Eli. I was only saying it was collusion, just because you were saying I was. Right, you're being a dick. Derek Carr lords Timmons. Do we talk about that? Who do you think lost out on that? So uh, Eric traded away Derek Carr to Rufio. Eric's an idiot. For Lawrence Timmons. Who's Eric's quarterbacks right now? Jacoby Brissett and... Yes! Zach Ertz. Fuck. That sucks. Brian has him, right? This, oh, no, that's right. Yeah, Brian, Brian. Of course Brian has him. Yeah, good. Um, so, Brian, Wentz to Ertz. That's what I like to see. Unless I'm playing you. Well, I'm playing you. No, you're not. It doesn't matter. He's playing no, I'm not playing him. I know I'm so, playing Rufio. Yeah. So, trades. Derek Carr to Lawrence Simmons. I'm going to go first since you got to look it up. I think Eric lost out on this. I think Derek Carr, he was hurt. Or he's still hurt. I guess he's got a broken back. So, a broken back. I'm saying it in the most layman's terms I know. Because I don't know. What is it? Some fracture. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. It's gonna. Yeah. Hurt. He's going to be in pain. They were saying Derek Carr is a young quarterback who's never played with an injury where it's pain tolerance and has to play through it. I still think Derek Carr is on the borderline fringe elite. Puts elite numbers up fantasy-wise. He, has he good would have been, he been wise to keep Carr Just for, a, him. for Stash a linebacker. Him for a linebacker. Come on. I know. I know, it makes no sense. Again, like just you and Rufio getting all the like, fucking players. If Matt Stafford or yeah, Matt Stafford got hurt with this, it'd be one thing. But Derek Carr has the potential to be an elite quarterback, put up top five numbers. He's done it. I don't know about it consistently, but given his quarterbacks, right. I'll give you he I, should he be. Should have, he should have kept him for Lawrence. Definitely, Jones, definitely. For sure. Rufio made on that trade. Rufio seems to be making on that trade. I want an honest question right now. Answered. Yes or no, Dalton would help ice his team. Hmm. Well, Dalton would help What's your gut say? Just are, we say are, we saying, are we saying a waiver right wire now. pickup or a trade? Because I would take a linebacker. So if you traded him a linebacker for Dalton, can I look up Dalton's who he's playing? He's bye week. Yeah, but for Eric, he may be a starter. Every week. You know his but, two quarterbacks. But but would it be... Who would you start consistently, Dalton or Brissett? Well, Brissett's not going to be playing soon. Okay, who's the other one? Hoyer. Who would you start? Would you start Dalton or Hoyer? It depends on... It depends. Would it? Who has Dalton? You have Dalton. Yeah. Do you still have him? Yeah. So let's look at Dalton. Who Who is he playing? Why do you still have him? He's, he's got... He's going to buy him. I know. trade him. I can't let him go. He's too... He's a... I think he's valuable. So now on Pittsburgh, Indy, Jackson. Someone will need him. A quarterback will go down. Ice is being stuck. So in the playoffs, he's got Chicago, Minnesota, Minnesota, Detroit. Minnesota, Detroit in the last two weeks. That's tough. But for Eric's team... So let's pretend Jacoby Brissett is now the backup. Andrew Luck starting. Who else is there? No one. So for a linebacker, yes, I would do that trade. Right. But... He thinks you're going to drop him. I'm I not. Think. I'm not. I have the bench you, spots. You have both Both. What if one of mine goes down? Who've already had what if one buy-in? of mine goes down? I'm trying to really think about this. Like, But you, you're going to have three soon. Maybe. I'm hoping because I'm going to win the bet. They've so. won. <laughs> they've yeah. won games. So I, now I'm I, locked in. McCaffrey again, baby. Go at, ahead. At, First down. Did this, you get there? At this point, I don't think we're going to win that bet. Yeah, you're not gonna. It win. was a bold prediction. I didn't. I didn't want to take. There's only last. twenty. Yeah. Um, Eric, you owe me a hundred still. I wish I put a number on the Ellington bet. I don't know why I didn't. I didn't put any in amount, so I can't say anything now. Oh, with Eric. I bet yeah. Ellington would beat out Cohen and we, against Minnesota. That was an easy bet. Yeah, of course that's an easy bet. Now Cohen's like in a three-person. No, it's Howard. Then there's a two-person backup committee between. Cohen and uh, who's that other one? 
Oh, um, oh, I can see it. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I can't. Anyway, that. whatever. So I think it would help this team. I think you're gonna drop him. I won't. You're Eric, gonna have other bye weeks that come up, not just quarterbacks. You're gonna have other bye weeks. I've I've plotted out my whole season. So when T.J. Watt and Ryan Shazier have a bye week, you're not gonna. That's drop why I'm either. looking to trade one. I already have this all planned out, dude. Okay. Why do you think I was trying to pump T.J. So, Watt all day? I'm way ahead of all that. I all know right, so that. So I think I think it would help his team. I don't. You who you would trade him for one of Eric's linebackers or something? It would be something insignificant. Who, who on Eric's team? I don't know. I was like looking. I'm just trying to get someone interested. I wouldn't try to take like he but always are, says. I mean, I'm I'm like capable. I don't think there's anyone in Eric's team you would want, especially in IDP. I looked, man. I know. Like there was someone. I think. What did I say? I wanted Seattle's D. Andy Dalton for Seattle's D. I don't think that's a good trade. Why? Because Seattle's D is one of the elite defenses. Okay, what if I give him Andy Dalton, starting quarterback for him every week, and then I throw in, like, someone from my bench? I mean, James White. You don't think that? Or no, he has plenty of running backs, James right? James would be a good trade for Eric. Okay. Kelvin Benjamin. So Randall so Cobb. So you're saying, you're saying Dalton and Cobb for what? Like Seattle's D. It may be an IDP. See, defenses are more important than quarterbacks. But with these defenses, like it really does matter on matchups. It does. You can't just have it an does, elite but defense you don't unless think you carry. That Seattle, them. M- the majority of weeks is going to be a top defense. So I've already plotted this out too. Seattle's D is not that useful to me. They're only good for me for to two you, weeks. Yeah, but to Eric. But I'm trading. I know, but Eric doesn't have Kansas City. Is it worth? Having a better quarterback and upgrade wide receiver than having an elite defense. Is he upgrading wide receiver? So you have Cobb. All right, let me look at let me so look at his wide receiver. No, who would be the wide receiver you'd give him? Cobb, and that's it. Or Benjamin Cobb. Yeah. So he's got Fitz and Sanders. Sanders already had his bye week. I like Cobb and Benjamin better than Emmanuel. I do. I like. You've always liked Emmanuel Sanders. I know, dude. That's I know. I you drafted, were always an Eman- No, I drafted him, but that doesn't mean I was always... I traded him away immediately. Yeah, maybe this year, but I feel like in previous years you've had Emmanuel. He's been no, like... I've never had Emmanuel. No, maybe not. Never. All right. Emmanuel... I put... I like Cobb and Benjamin over Emmanuel. I like Benjamin. Potentially, I'd have to look at them all the matchups over... What about, but not necessarily Cobb. I think he's the number three on that team. Honestly, he's, I mean, he's a slot guy. So when Jordy Nelson's got a tough matchup, then it's Devontae. What about this? Dalton for Aaron Jones. Personally, would yeah. I do that? Yeah. If Aaron Jones on my team? No. If, if you Aaron had Jones. Eric's team and you took over ownership. He has all these running backs. Look at it. Look at him. He thinks he's the man. Like, See, I'm going to have fire sale on running backs. Aaron, now the price has gone up. Like, dude, you're not controlling the running back market. Like, like you don't have running backs good enough. He said that he's the running back store. Like, that's so retarded. He's got Aaron Jones and Jordan Howe. I would never trade Jordan Howe for anyone on my team. I like Aaron Jones. I'm not convinced he's going to be the every down back that he should Why is he be. only projected 12 points in our league? Oh. Aaron Jones. I don't know. Like, they, like our... Minnesota. And they don't know if he's going to be the number one. But here's the thing, all right? So when he first got overseas, he was projected 14.3 points, okay? When? His first week when he came in and everyone knew he was going to start, he was projected 14 points. He had a monster week. Now he's only projected 12 points? Why? Do they think they're still going to split time with that other guy? Right? Wasn't there two of them that they didn't know? Luke Keatley has the locker room. That's weird. Did I say something on the video? I don't know. Oh, let me get your reaction. I saw Spitta said something. This will be good for the video. Look it. Maybe you want to respond to Spitta's question on the video. So, Mike, I heard you need a running back. What? Yeah, I think he's, like, piggybacking off what Eric said about, Mike, I know you need a running back. And you're like, yeah, none of yours. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, none of Eric's, but Spitta's. He's Ed McCaffrey's kid? I don't know what that means. Do you know what Brian means by that? Oops. No, I don't know anything. Oh, he's Ed McCaffrey's kid? 
I don't know what that means. What are we talking about? We're talking about... No, this is all good. They want to see us get sidetracked once in a while. I know, but what are we talking about? We're talking, we're talking about... Um, Eric's team. Why? Eric's team, like running... Oh, Derek Carr. Yeah. Trades. Back to trades. Dude, he's literally traded the worst trades. He might have the worst trades in fantasy football history in accumulation just in this year. What are we on? We're on trades right now. Let's just let's just quickly go back through all the trades. First one, we'll start with the Evans trade. He thinks I lost out on that, I think. I definitely think you lost out on that. Me? Evans? No, I'm sorry. Ice lost out on that. I agree. Then it was McFadden for Martellus Bennett. He, he only kept lost. McFadden. He didn't keep McFadden, so he lost out. We're gonna say that. Then the Derek Johnson, Jimmy Graham, Jordan Howard, Patrick Peters. Patrick Peters is, is not on the team anymore. Right. For, yeah, there was Jimmy Graham. For Gronk and TJ Watt. Yeah, I can't believe you dropped Graham. That was ridiculous. He says they make no fair trades. Looking at that, is that not a fair trade? Honestly. That is a fair trade. Yeah, and, thank you. And even so, maybe leaning more towards Eric. I agree. That's the only one. That's what I mean. Like, he's just – he – like – Jordan, had, Jordan How- if he kept let's, – let's pretend he kept Jimmy Graham. So Jimmy Graham and Jordan Howard, let's pretend that's it. Derek Johnson is just kind of a throw-in. It was a good throw-in for T.J. Watt. So really, realistically, it's Gronk for Jimmy Graham and Jordan Howard. Good trade. Yes. Maybe more lean towards Eric. Not now because he, he dropped Jimmy Graham. Right. But that's that's what I said. And so I, let me go Tyreek Hill for Brandon Cooks. That's I interesting. Think it was a bad trade. I would have rather had Cooks. I'd rather have Hill. Okay. So split. Then Tyreek Hill for Cohen and Sanders. Awful. On his part. Awful. Agreed. Embarrassing. That was embarrassing. And then just to prove the point of his trade, his trade, he goes so far to start Cohen and Howard. He only, yeah, he only That's that. all pride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was no strategy behind that except he wanted it to work out so we could rub it in everyone's face. Like, But it didn't work out. Right, so and it was pathetic. Back to the trade we're talking about Derek Carr and Lawrence Simmons. We both agree he should have kept Derek Carr. I would personally... Wait, wait. We're on, we're on this video. Vontae Perfect, Eli Manning. Fair or not fair? Fair. Okay. But to be honest, the only reason I was going nuts was because you were going nuts on me saying I was a rapist. But you're not. No, no, no. A, not saying it was, yeah, I was saying say it was collusion. All right. I told you I rescinded the collusion. Okay. I still don't believe the whole thing with us. So then we're going back. The Eric's newest. newest well, no, what trade. about the Thielen, Duke, and Aaron? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Eric's yeah. newest trade Adam Thielen, Duke Johnson, and Aaron Jones for Keenan Allen and Marshawn Lynch. I th- I'm looking at it. I, I think, think Eric, Eric won. Made out. Yeah, yeah. I think Eric I won that one. I think Rufio Dude, is Johnson kinda... is consistent. And Dude. Aaron Jones could be legit. But when Montgomery comes back, it's too right. volatile. It passes everywhere. It's like a Brady team. Like you if, don't know where it's gonna if go. If he comes back, if he if Montgomery can't Ooh, come back, then he Murray. is legit. Yeah, if Aaron Mark Jones. Yes. Thielen is a legit bench. I disagree. Bench. One week starter. I disagree. Well, Devontae Parker is better pickup than him for a one week starter. There's other ones too. Okay, Devontae Parker wasn't on the wire. I still think Ice won the trade. Keenan Allen. But you know what? Who is the best player in that trade? Keenan Allen. Agreed. And in my personal opinion, I think whoever gets the best player, no matter what, makes out the trade. I agree. So you're right. Now I'm going to switch and say, you know, Rufio. Got it. And, dude, Marshawn Lynch, don't count him out, dude. I bet he's getting pissed with everyone talking so much shit on him. He could break out, man. He's not – He could break out. I think he has a slight, very slight better chance to break out than Adrian Peterson. Very slight. I don't know. AP is pissed. He wants to prove himself. McCaffrey, check down, check down. Right there. God damn it. Block McCaffrey. Nope. Didn't get it. All right. Go into the next – I need to take a piss. Go into the top left, top trade. All right. <sighs> Top trade. We got Amari Cooper for Deshaun Jackson and Adrian Peterson. What do I think about this? I think there's not enough information to know. I mean, everyone wants to see Amari Cooper. He was a top pick. Hasn't done shit this year. He um, definitely has potential to do a lot this year. And this is the definition of buying low. So, good job on Rufio's part if it works out, but 
on the same token, Adrian Peterson could be one of the greatest pickups in waiver wire, and he just gave them away. So I don't know how it's going to work out. Um, Do we know what we'll know more round after. he picked a Cooper in? I want to say it was top three. I mean, I could check on my phone real quick. I have the picture. Oh, yeah, right here. Um, I think I would have. I was looking through Carl's team, trying to find a trade for Cooper. Cooper to trade by low. Oh, I couldn't think of anything that he would do, so I never really went through with it. Should have. Where is he? Why is it under free Zeke? Are we logged in as you? Uh, obviously not. That's oh, wait, hold on. Do view all. Oh, no. Maybe that's not it. Can you click on your team and switch it? No. Why is it under me? That's oh, no. weird. Scroll up. Isn't that weird? We're okay. definitely logged in under you. Are you sure? All right. Yeah. I'm going to keep this going. Um, yeah. All right. So, yeah. just lost everything. But here's the deal. I'll talk to you guys about some stuff. <clears throat> All right. Let me make sure this is lined up right now. All right, cool. So what we got? You know what? I'm going to mess around and uh, make some bold predictions. Just go off the fly here. All right? I'm going to say bold predictions. I'm going to go who's going to win, who's going to not this week. I think, I guess it wouldn't be a bold prediction, but I do think Spit is going to win. And I think Eric's slowly going to come down off this high horse of having a few players do well that he picked up off waivers. I definitely think Brian's going to lose this week. I don't think Saul's going to try. Um... I'm sure he'll just put random people in. I'm trying to look at his team right now. He did have a lot on his bye. There's many people you can drop, so you have two kickers. Anyone who has two kickers in our league should be kicked out of the league and still owe the dues and not be able to participate anymore in any activities. That's it. Banned. Brian's going down. Rufio and Zeke. Obviously, I want Zeke to win. Because that way I'd be get the number one spot if I win, which I'm going against J Train. I do like his new name, but I don't think that's going to get him the victory. I think I'm going to get this one. Rufio and Zeke. Who do I think is going to win? Even though I want Zeke to win, I think Rufio is going to take it. You never know Le'Veon Bell. He's got great running backs. Gurley, his quarterbacks. He just has a lot of people with high floors. I'm sorry, high ceilings. If Kelsey plays, it might be a big factor. If Kelsey doesn't play, maybe I think Mike's going to win. But that's going to be a close matchup. That'll be a fun one to watch. Let me see what else. You know what? I'm going to keep freestyling here. Let's go to waiver wire pickups. I'm actually going to just look out who's on the waiver right now and ask you guys, should they be owned in our league? Hmm. So Mike dropped Devontae Parker. Thinking about picking him up. And that way we made that bet with Kelvin Benjamin and Devontae Parker. Who's going to be better? I got either one. So either way, I know I'll be locked in. Maybe I'll even be able to trade it back to him. He's not in the room right now, but he'll see this and, you know, get him thinking. Maybe he'll pick him up. Maybe he'll drop someone else that I really want in this is all mine game. I don't know. Let's see who's available. Hmm. Fuck, not switching over. All right, let me let me go to this, actually. Let's see who's available for quarterbacks. This is going to be great. Who we got available for quarterbacks? We got Blake Bortles. Okay, Teenage Mutant Ninja Bortles. I wouldn't want to put him in a fill for a week. Simeon, McCown, Eli Manning, Flacco, Keenum, Cutler, Trubitsky. That's it. Okay. None of those are viable options. Please tell me one of these that you would start over Dalton. 
Honestly, maybe Bortles. Has Bortles even had a good game this year? He had one, I think, right? Yeah, week three. He had one good game. Not trustworthy. Trubitsky. Oh, my God. I think Ice started him last week. I don't know if he dropped him. I know someone was talking about Trubitsky. Like, terrible. Terrible idea to start Trubitsky. I got Dalton. I'm not letting him go off my bench. I want to trade for him. All right. I want to get rid of TJ Watt. I'll be honest. I'll get rid of TJ Watt pretty cheap. I got... Shazier and TJ Watt, they're going to have a bye the same week. I don't want to deal with that headache. Let's make a trade. I'm not trying to rape everyone. All right. Spitter won't even trade with me because he's so afraid. I text Carl today. He's like, maybe I'll trade with you next year. Hold all the grudges you want. Maybe what you're doing is actually keeping my team intact. So this is going to carry me to the championship. However I do it, I'm going to win. I just have fun trading. I think it's the best part of fantasy is having trades, making trades, it's always risk for both sides. As much as we always say, oh, that was a rape. We don't know if that number one guy isn't going to get hurt next week. So that's what makes trades fun is you don't know. And then you would have kept that player, then he ends up getting hurt. But you traded him, and now you just got so lucky because you got a, someone even better in return, and now you don't have an injured player. Like, I don't know. It's kind of like gambling. So that's right on my wheelhouse. Let's see. IDP. Brian thinks he has a good IDP right now because he did some algorithms and analytics on who we have now and how many points they scored. Here's the thing. It doesn't matter who's on your IDP. You're not going to be able to use them consistently all year. You're going to have to be researching all the time, see who's hot, see who's coming up, see who's injured, see who's going to fill that role. Here's the thing to think about with cornerbacks. Go to the cornerbacks that aren't number one cornerbacks. you got to go to the second because they're going to be the ones that are going to have to defend all day because those receivers are getting peppered with targets. So you're going to have more chance for interceptions, more chance for tackles. All right? Stay away from the return cornerbacks. Those are all mine. All right? Mike's back. I don't know. I think we pretty much wrapped it up. I don't know. It's just like going on a complete freestyle. I was going on a complete freestyle. That's right. Everything. I was going about like right, well, some then, people that are left on the waiver wire. Right, like well, quarterbacks. This will be good. I'll, I'll be surprised when I watch it back. We don't need to keep going, do we? Yeah, no, we don't. This is What'd good. you say about the latest trade? What was the latest trade? Cooper? Yeah. I, I mean, wanted to buy low on Cooper. I didn't think I had the people to do it. So I didn't even try. That's I don't think Cooper's about. worth it. I think it's a risk, I but think he's a good buy low. I don't think so. So you think that Carl made out on the trade? I don't know. Well, who do you think made on the trade? I'll know after this week. I want to see AP go. Well, I'll know after this week. Well, who do you think right now made on the trade? Carl. Okay, I think Rufio did. We'll know after this week. Yeah, because it's a risk. You like the risk. Right.